Given a matrix, the spectrum consists of its eigenvalues and their multiplicities. To motivate our study of graph spectra, a cautionary tale of why I'm a YouTube subscriber and not its owner. Google's page ranking algorithm is based on the lambda equals one eigenvector for a graph representation of the internet. Any mathematician could have invented Google, but they didn't. It will be useful to consider one special case of the eigenvalue problem. But first, an obligatory math joke. How many numbers are there? Three, zero, one, and infinity. This joke explains two things. First, why I don't have an HBO comedy special. And second, why mathematicians often begin by asking if something can be zero or one. While the eigenvector can't be the zero vector, the eigenvalue could be zero. So when would lambda equals zero be an eigenvalue? This would require a non-trivial solution to the equation. Since this is a homogeneous system, we'll have non-trivial solutions if the rank of A is less than N. We might say that A is a rank-deficient matrix. Conversely, if the rank of A is less than N, we will have non-trivial solutions, and lambda equals zero would be an eigenvalue. So let's try to find an eigenvalue for this matrix. Now, since this matrix has repeated rows, we know its rank will be less than the number of rows. So there will be non-trivial solutions to the matrix equation, and consequently, lambda equals zero will be an eigenvalue. So let's go ahead and row reduce this matrix. And remember, the row echelon form of a matrix is not unique. So if you did this, and you should have, you might or might not end up with this matrix. But we'll assume that you do get a row reduced form. Since there are five variables and only three non-zero rows, this means there are three basic variables and two free variables. Our free variables are x4 and x5, so we can parameterize a solution. And while we don't need to do so, notice that when we try to solve for x3, we'll need to divide by 12, so we'll include a factor of 12 in our parameterized variables. So we'll let x4 be 12s and x5 be 12t. Now our third row gives us the equation, which we can rearrange as. And since we have expressions for x4 and x5, we can solve for x3. Now that we know x3, x4, and x5, the second row gives us the equation, which we can rearrange as and since we know x2, x3, x4, and x5, the first row gives us the equation, which we can rearrange as And so we can express our solution in vector form. And each free variable corresponds to an eigenvector for lambda equals zero. And so our vector solution also gives us the two linearly independent eigenvectors associated with lambda equals zero. And we could consider an extreme case. If a matrix has at least one non-zero entry, then its rank will be at least one. So now suppose a matrix does have rank one. So we could then row reduce it to a single row of non-zero entries, and then everything else is zero. 
and consequently our matrix equation will have non-trivial solutions. Now since in this case there would be n minus 1 free variables, then the basis for the set of solutions would have n minus 1 basis vectors. So 0 is an eigenvalue with multiplicity n minus 1.